Did you know that people are idiots? Or it might seem like everyone else are idiots. We tend to be around people who think the same as us, and therefore we believe that everyone else must be wrong. They must be, because we are convinced that we understand what is really going on. But how are we going to communicate if we never talk to the other idiots? My name is Marte Wilhelmsen, and I'm a PhD candidate and a detective. I want to find out why people perceive climate change and climate-related policies so differently. Having a dialogue about climate change is more and more difficult. Who should we listen to and who can we trust? You should listen to me. Because I have been reading about the real world for 30 years. You should listen to me because I have a Twitter account. You should listen to me because I've heard something from someone who heard something from someone somewhere. You should listen to me because I care the most. I care the most. I care the most. No, everyone should listen to me. Shut up about the climate crisis. Hello? We tend to speak at each other and not with each other. We don't agree on what we are discussing and we don't even agree on what a fact is. The internet has made it easier to find people we agree with and block out the others. When did you last talk to someone who would disagree with you on climate issues? And did you listen? In the summer of 2018, protests against road tolls took place across Norway. The idea behind road tolls is, for example, to finance transport plans and to reduce emissions. But it seems like this is a topic that is engaging people in many different ways. Climate change policies, like the road tolls, can represent something completely different to different people. Even though we don't agree on much, we agree that everyone else are idiots. That is why I want to investigate people's thoughts, ideas and beliefs. What are we really talking about when we discuss the climate crisis? It takes more than one perspective to understand these mechanisms. That is why I'm excited to work with interdisciplinary-minded colleagues. For this project, we combine ethnographic methods, which allow us to understand local debates and the sense-making processes, and methods of social network analysis to decipher the context in which these debates are taking place. But how to comprehend the complexity and the intricacies of new digital realities of climate change communication? We at the Center for Digital Transformation try to create an environment that combines disciplinary perspectives and brings together expertise from different fields to understand these new phenomena better. And if you think I sound like an idiot, maybe you should listen. 